Well, as you can see, millions of people are grabbing their glasses and heading to the path of totality this morning. We are lucky enough to live near the path, which crosses parts of New Hampshire, Maine, and Vermont. WBZ's Levin Reed is live at the Worcester Ecotarium this morning, where there's going to be a big viewing party. Levin, I think this is a great idea for people that maybe don't want to drive all the way up, but don't want to miss out. This is fantastic because if you can if you can drive here to the Ecotarium here in Worcester, not only do they have a great spot for you here on the Sundial Plaza, but there's so much to learn inside the Ecotarium Museum of Science and Nature. It's fantastic. Joining me right now is Noreen Smith. She is the president and CEO of this fantastic place. First and foremost, thank you for having us. How great is today going to be? Today's going to be awesome. We have about 2,000 people who've pre-registered to come watch the eclipse with us. So this is going to be a great event here. We'll have five telescopes set up all pointed at the eclipse with safety filters yeah. on and uh, looking forward to welcoming folks. So. I've got to ask you, when people get a chance and they see this for the first time, what is it like for them to walk in, see the telescope and say, man, I've never seen anything like that? Yeah, people are amazed and they don't know how things work. So we've got museum educators. Our staff are amazing. They're enthused and excited and they've all been trained um, and working at this for years. So they love teaching the public how to use the telescopes and how to get involved mm -hmm. in the things you can see during the day and at night. Uh, what is it like to be here when you have all the programs going on for the kids? You have so much stuff, the animals outside. You have a running zoo going on here. Uh, what is it like to be here when you finally get to see the wonderment of a big kid like me or just the little kids who walk in here? Yeah, it's a great privilege to work here. We've got 45 acres mm -hmm. of outdoor space with a choo-choo train that runs around and does a one-mile loop around the property. We have an outdoor zoo for rescue wildlife from New England. We have indoor animals that also speak to the impact of and the intersection between nature and the built human environment. Mm -hmm. We've got exhibits on engineering, science, climate, planetarium. We've got an African communities room downstairs. Sure. We've got You're full in here. 55,000 objects that date back to the 1800s that have been collected from all over the world. So it's a fascinating place. Okay, so let's put on our glasses. All right. And we're going to try and do this interview um, <laughs> with the glasses on because we're doing protective gear. Um, I, I can see the cameras over there and I can see something's over here and you're over I here. You. So first and foremost, how great is it going to be to see everybody just walking around with these glasses? It's it's awesome. <laughs> how cool do we look? You know, uh, I, I mean, this I, is like... It's great that I can I can't see anything, but I'm happy that I can hear you. <laughs> well, it's really important to protect your eyes during yes. the eclipse because it's tempting to look up. It's really tempting to watch it, but it does cause damage to your retina. So you have to have glasses that are certified sure. that protect you. And uh, we have those here at the Ecotarium. We're looking forward to seeing a whole crowd of people wearing them. So. Are you going to make sure you have people around that they don't bump into one another? Because I think these could be one of those where oh. if you don't know where you are. This is going to be a moment to spread out your blanket, kick, sure. up, kick up your feet, lay back, and watch the eclipse with your glasses sure. on. So, yeah. Okay, Penny, I think you're over here someplace, so I'm going to say I'm going to throw it back to you. Um, this place is awesome. I have to be honest with you. We've been here for just a couple of hours, and I get a chance to see mountain lions, eagles. There's, uh, there's an owl here. There's stuff on the inside. Great displays. I've got a good crib of glasses. Not sure. I think I think you're over here, Penny. Is this where you are? This no, way. I'm not sure. I this think it could be over here, but it's fantastic. <laughs> okay. love, I love those Back glasses. To the studio. I'm feeling a little bit left oh, out. Oh, they're fantastic. Yeah, I feel like I need it. Can you bring one of those uh, back uh, for me? Do you know what's funny? I have an extra pair, <laughs> just in case. I, I put, I, just in case I need to double, double, you know, to double do it. But just in case, you know, I forget and I'm like, oh my god, I want to see. There's another pair I have to make sure that because you know I'm curious. Of course, better safe than sorry. Thank you so much, Lev.